Hello and welcome back to Webcast News, and yes, this is a completely different setup. Currently my camera is balancing on a pile of stuff, and I'm sat on a bed. That's because I'm back at university, but as I said in the last video, I am going to keep making the videos. This is going to be the setup for a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's still good. And then moving on into the news, firstly is news of the Oscars, which is set to be on February 28th. But I talk about it because of the main point, which is the lack of coloured people nominated for certain awards. You may have seen on Twitter the hashtag OscarsSoWhite, and that's because the 20 nominations for Best Actor, Best Actress, and then Best Supporting Actor and Supporting Actress, so five nominations in each of those categories, every single person is of white ethnic origin and that's caused a bit of an uproar. One thing going in their favour and a move they may have thought they had to make is that Chris Rock is going to be presenting this year's Oscars, but does that make up for no nominations in main categories for coloured people? Not really. And this may backfire as there's also rumours that Chris Rock may change his opening monologue from what he was initially going to say to actually now be focused on the Oscars so white hashtag and looking and joking about the lack of nominations so it may have actually backfired slightly. But my opinion on this in general is if you are a good actor, if you are a good actress then it doesn't matter what ethnic origin you are, you could be an alien for all I care you get a chance at an Academy Award, it doesn't actually matter who you are but is it a possibility that there are people in the Academy Awards who don't want coloured people being nominated? It's always a possibility. And then moving on to news about Britain's Got Talent, which had its London recordings at the weekend. And this has made the news because Simon Cowell managed to anger fellow judge Amanda Holden again. And this time it was a jibe at her former husband, Les Dennis. Again. This all started when one of the acts came onto the stage with a T-Rex puppet, which I don't understand, but that must have been one strange act. But it led Judge Amanda Holden to say, I can see the dinosaur winking at me. It's flirting with me. It's not the first time I've been flirted with by someone prehistoric. And Simon Cowell's fairly quick-fire response was, leave Les alone with Les Dennis being 18 years Amanda Holden's senior. So that was a bit of a touchy subject. And this led to Amanda almost throwing a glass of water over Simon's head, which would have been for the fourth time in this year's Britain's Cut Talent recordings. There's definitely something wrong there. If you've already had three thrown over your head, you should probably think before you say something. But then again, you're Simon Cow. Now moving on to news coming out of France, and it's actually linked with Britain because it's Banksy. Now if you don't know who Banksy is, he is a quite famous graffiti artist from Britain. And he's back in the news again because he has reappeared with a new piece of artwork outside the French Embassy. This piece of artwork appeared on Saturday opposite the French Embassy, and it depicts a girl with tears in her eyes with a can of CS gas beneath her with CS gas being tear gas. And this is thought to be criticising the use of tear gas on migrants in the Calais jungle camp. And this is pretty much backed up because Banks also put an interactive QR code on the piece of graffiti work and people who have scanned it found that it linked to a video of the use of tear gas and rubber bullets during a raid on the Calais jungle camp on the 5th of January. However, if you did actually want to go to the French Embassy and have a look at this piece of artwork, that is no longer possible because a building firm have boarded it up and are deciding what they're going to do with it now. And then finally for today's video, as I normally do, I tend to end with film trailer news. So that is going to be the same for this video. And it comes from the Warner Brothers, where they have released two new 30 second TV spot trailers for the Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice film. One of the trailers looks at the Superman perspective, the other trailer looks at the Batman perspective of the story and the film is set to be released on March 25th of this year, so only a couple of months time. And with that, that is it for this video. It is a new sale, I hope it's all come out okay. I'll, I don't tend to watch my videos back, I'll just edit this. 
So let me know in the comment section down below if you think that this setup will work for now, hopefully. If you have liked the video, make sure you go down and hit the like button. If you do like the videos I've been making recently, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more content. And as always, thanks for watching.